the approximately 1100 passengers who were injured in that ill-fitted train on that ill-fitted day. Now, 900 passengers have been treated in various hospitals in the state and have been discharged. So currently less than 200 passengers are undergoing treatment in various hospitals across the state. The process of identification and uh, handing over the uh, bodies of the deceased passengers to their relatives. Uh, out of 278 passengers, approximately 177, this process has started and been done. And 101 bodies currently, as per our information, and uh, has not yet been identified. And these numbers are undergoing changes, uh, so it's... Uh, uh, I just, it might be even less than 101 as on, uh, uh, as of now, but uh, the last figures that we had were around 101 unidentified passenger bodies were there. And uh, we have deployed teams across the states of Jharkhand, Bihar, West Bengal, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Tamil Nadu to see that we have already made a PDF file of uh, the photographs of the deceased along with some identification mark which was if available in their pant pockets or their shirt pockets. So that has been laid and that photographs are being distributed across these zones and divisions of the Indian Railways which you know very well is a very wide network. So we are hoping to reach these people. and. Uh, our aim is to see that uh, all the bodies are identified and handed over to their relatives. And uh, the, in this process, AIMS uh, is undertaking all scientifically to see that these bodies are preserved, even if required for a longer period of time, so that we at least unite the deceased with the, the loved ones. Uh, so that uh, is one thing that the uh, railway administration is trying wholeheartedly to uh, see. One last question is, uh, the government of India has initiated uh, the inquiry in this whole uh, hideous, you know, uh, that uh, uh, accident. So uh, just can you uh, give me a small see, brief about See, in the, in, in the accident site, we have uh, two, three types of inquiries. So the Preliminary, there is something called that when we go to a site, we have something called a prima facie cause. So there is a prima facie cause, so which I had told you about the prima facie cause. Then there is a statutory inquiry. So this statutory inquiry is undertaken by the uh, Commissioner of Railway Safety. Now the Commissioner of Railway Safety is under the Ministry of Civil Aviation and is the regulator of safety for the Indian Railway. So they don't work under the Ministry of Railway. So they are an independent body. So they will be conducting the inquiry. And the inquiry has already started. And uh, parallelly, there is a CBI inquiry going on. So these are to see other, uh, uh, what could have been further uh, for the, uh, the uh, uh, dimension which the technical part cannot uh, take care. So, CBI has started. Uh, uh, so, the, uh, our information is they have reached today to the accident site at Bangalore.